Hello everyone, thanks for joining. I had one of my subscribers send me a private message and inquire how I hooked up my audio generator to test all the way through the output transformer, voice coil, and speaker. So here we go. In this case, I'm going to use my Gerard radio that I'm doing a restoration on now as an example. And you can see I've got everything highlighted where I'm going to do my testing from my 43 output tube all the way through the output transformer and the voice coil speaker. And here I'm going to draw out my connection points. Again, I'm going to come from the plate itself through the primary. And you can see me looping back up here to the grid on the 43 tube. In addition, we'll go through the secondary of the transformer. And you can see me highlighting here. And again, this is the output transformer all the way down through the voice coil itself and making my complete loop. So these are the tests that I would do. Now let me show you how I'm going to do the test. Alright, let's take a closer look. I've got a hand drawing here that I've completed. Again, we'll be testing the output transformer, voice coil, and speaker. Leveraging my audio generator, 600 hertz tone. My insertion point for the test will be a Type 43 tube, which I have lot, uh, highlighted as well. And again, you can see my connection points here. I'll highlight those for you. We'll be coming off of the audio generator itself, back from the uh, plus side over to the plate of the Type 43 tube. And then we'll be taking the negative lead, and I'll attach it to uh, pin number 3, which is uh, grid 2. So let's take a look at that in reality and see what that looks like now using the radio itself. As you can see in this photo, the underneath side of the chassis is deep and it's a little crowded, so I'm going to take advantage of the top side and you can see the 43 tube socket here. So I'll use my tube socket adapters, which I'm sharing here. If you don't uh, have a set of those, I recommend, um, you know, if you're out there doing the restoration, uh, grab you a set. I think I bought these some five uh, years ago, and I don't find myself using them a lot, but they are very, very handy to have. They really take advantage of those uh, tight, you know, chassis where I want to do measurements, and it's hard to get underneath to make such measurements and you can just put the adapters in and do everything from the uh, the top side. So here again you can see my uh, signal generator that I've got hooked up uh, that we talked about in the drawing earlier. And here are some of the uh, the testing now.
Thanks again for watching and subscribing to my channel.